Hello there. Hey, our leader told me all about you. Name's Jackass. Nice to meet you. That's not I my name. I hear you're planning to take out all the machines in the desert. Okay, we are done with the desert for a little while. That feels good. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna save. Go. Just to be on the save side, and then I want to head back to the resistance camp. Whew. I think we've earned a breather. Say to be. I was hoping we could talk about our next move. Resistance camp. Worried about the damage we took in that last battle with the machines. Maybe we should Wearing return to the resistance camp to resupply and conduct maintenance. N yes. All right, let's go back. You got it. Did you interrupt me for that? Things. All right, gosh. Oh, Shockwave attack. Okay. Ah, didn't block that projectile, did you? Oh, maybe he did. Crap. I don't think you took any damage from it. Well, then that just shut me right up. You there. Level 9. Oh, yeah, I'm level 9. That works out. Did I dodge it into the punch? I need to dodge better. Mm. I noticed that the running picks up once you've been running for a few seconds. Alright, so I said I was going to talk a bit about... Uh, why I've done button mapping the way that I have. Because certain buttons I had completely flipped sides. Oh, are we fighting something else? Yeah. Yay, we're done. Okay. Like, for example, I've switched pod's trigger button to being on the left side instead of the right side. And also to being the the shoulder button that actually feels like a button trigger instead of L1 or R1. R1 now being the finisher attack. So the reason is because the melee attack buttons square and triangle are on the right side of the controller and that is where it feels like they should be it doesn't feel like they should be allocated to shoulder buttons at all this feels more natural but having the trigger button on the same side as the melee attack buttons means that at least for me it feels awkward trying to hold down the trigger button while also tapping the melee buttons uh, with my thumb Because also I don't necessarily always want to be shooting. It depends on the kind of combat that's happening. want to be able to hold and let go. Like pretty much at will. And I want to be tapping the melee buttons at will. But trying to hold down one button. While rapidly tapping other buttons with the same hand. 
is just a weird combination of motions. It's like trying to um, pat your head and rub your belly at the same time with the same hand. It's kind of a challenge. So I find that by relocating the pod's trigger button to the left side, I can just hold the trigger button down, like, basically indefinitely, and release it as much as I need to, while my right hand can focus on just the melee combat aspects of fighting, and I can keep those as two separate things that are able to happen simultaneously. So that's what makes the most sense for my brain. I don't know that that's an autism thing. That may be a, like, a fairly normal neurotypical thing. Probably has something to do with the way that the two hemispheres work. Because I know it's quite different from what the game has recommended as the default controls. So I don't know if the reason that this works better for me is something to do specifically with how my brain works. Because one of the things that autism does affect is how the two hemispheres work. That's something that's different in um, autistic brains as opposed to neurotypical brains. But it could also just be that I've done enough experimenting with the action in this game to have found a method that just happens to work best for me as far as my personal playstyle. Because this is a game that has a lot of variety and a lot of options in it as far as how you do combat. Because to the best of my recollection, this is the first game I've ever played, and only game I've ever played so far, that has such a detailed melee combat system, with also the ability to shoot, just like indefinitely. And having that combination of being able to attack enemies both ways at once. And it's not a combat style that my brain had been used to thinking of and thinking in terms of. And maybe that was the same case with the programmers themselves, and maybe that's why with enough experimentation I found uh, a version of button mapping that personally I feel works better. Um, is just because it was such a new way of doing combat and like a, none of us were used to thinking in those terms uh, up until now, up until I had spent enough time with the game to um, get a feel for what works for me and what doesn't. Because I remember having to do a lot of experimenting with the button mapping. I remember moving things around a lot and seeing what felt more natural and what felt nat less natural until I actually came to the system that I felt worked the best for me. And so yeah, that is my explanation for that. I need to upgrade chip storage amongst many other things. Subquests. You can accept subquests from clients marked as zets all over the world. Subquest destinations are indicated as diamond zets on the minimap. Okay. So like single ones, not the four diamonds together making a larger diamond, which is the main quests, I believe. I think that's how it works. You there. Uh, are you the person I go to for this? I think so. 
storage. Yes. I'm gonna need more than that, I assume. Hmm. Alright, let's see what I can do with that. Chips. All right. Customize. So this is going to be a lot of inventory management for a bit. I'll skip over uh, some of this in the edits. Shockwave. I seem to recall that, and I want that. Thank you. Let's see max HP up. Deadly heal. Recover. Oh, recover HP for every enemy defeated. That kind of sounds like me, yes. Sounds like something I want. Evade range. Movement speed. Avoid stagger. Ah, I can probably get rid of that. So, throw in deadly heal. So I think I'm going to need another uh, upgrade anyways. Spending all my money on this stuff. Shop. Evade range. Yeah. Shockwave 2. Yeah, maybe we'll remove the first one and just go straight into two. I can also fuse chips of the same kind and quality rating together in order to make one of the next level up. So I may get into some of that first, though. Let's take this shockwave for a spin, see how it looks. I yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I love that. I love how that looks. That's some one punch man crazy punch shockwave hitting this guy punches but with swords. I love that. Good job. Oh, she can do it with her kicks too. Projectile kicks. Hadouken. Yes, I am happy with that. I am happy with those purchases. What else was I going to look at here? Oh, uh, yeah. Be using plug-in chips. Um, costs some money, though, and I don't think I have that much money left. I'll see how much it costs. Yeah, combined with that, Matt, how much would that cost? It cost 3,000. I don't think I'll do that right now, then. Hmm. Maybe this, though. Nah, just in case it, the higher level ends up being too expensive for me to carry. I'll work on that later. Story... There we go. You there. Ah, it's you. I heard from Jackass about your encounter in the desert. Good work. We don't have much to offer in thanks, but I've rented a room for you here. Oh? It's the least we can do. Feel free to use it whenever you like. 
however you like. Yeah, thanks. Give me this. Also, whatever this is. Kick. Yeah. Room. We have room. Got an apartment. Yay. This is pretty big. You sure it's okay for us to get a room like this? We have permission, remember? Plus, we'll probably be stationed here for a while. So, bed won't go amiss. Then I guess there's no point turning it down. Kick! I'm also going to kick all their stuff. Except... Oh, I could kick that. Is that what I had to use a broken key on? Looks like something that required a special ability. Bad. Yes. Just take a break. This is my bed away from bed. Yeah. I feel like she doesn't sleep very long. Alright, so now... Map? There we go. I believe I was told... Oh, what's that? Something way underground, it looks like. I'm already quite lost now. Where am I? There I am. Okay. Yeah, I believe I was told... That there were... Was, is... A mission? To uh, go get my old stuff. Is that still around? Lost equipment. Because I think I know where it is. I'll go have a look. To 9S. This is what? 9S. Go ahead. I have an incoming message for 2B and 9S from the commander. Initiating playback. 2B, 9S. Huh? We've lost contact with several Yorha units that were on their way to the surface. Their black boxes are online, so we presume they're still alive. We've tracked the location mm. of their signals, so I need all Yorha units on the surface to head over and investigate. End of transmission. Hmm. I heard something about that back at the resistance camp. Target location confirmed. I'm worried about the other androids. We should probably check this out as soon as possible. No. I can get my stuff. Assuming my stuff is still there. Huh. Yeah, this appears to be the right way. There may not be another construction bot, though. Other stuff. Seed. I thought there was some more glowy stuff. Ah, here it is. Yeah, I did a thing. Uh, jump. Yeah, can't collect that for some reason. Give. Huh. It's my sword. Yeah, I got my sword back. All right. Let's modify this loadout then.
Ja. And, uh, that's me. Okay. Oh goodness, that's a lot of recovery items. And dented stuff, and amber, and iron. Okay. Now that that grizzly business is out of the way, I can go looking for these other androids now. Ah. Oh. Missed having that giant sword. Where did the music go, though? Is the music... Is all the music over here? Yes, okay. I found the music again. It was getting eerily quiet. How does this look with the wave Sweet! What's up? Check this out! Hello again! Hello, 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 hello,